More local news here tonight at six. Uh, we are nearing one year since 16 year old JCPS student Tyree Smith was shot and killed at his school bus stop in Louisville. Now his mother is schooling is suing the JCPS school district. Attorneys claiming school leaders were negligent in their duty to protect students. WHS 11's Isaiah Kim Martinez is breaking down the newly filed lawsuit. Sharita Smith's attorneys claim there were clear signs the bus stop behind me was connected to previous threats. They say JCPS failed to act upon them accordingly. You can't drive past the intersection of WJ Hodge and Chestnut Streets without noticing the flowers set in Tyree Smith's honor at his former school bus stop. Violence to this bus in particular, 2080. The site of irreversible harm for his mom, Sharita Smith, this interview from late last year. I'm trying to stop my little five-year-old from crying every night. Her attorneys, Kirsten Daniel and Stephanie Rivas, have now filed a lawsuit against the school district. Beginning August 2021, the school was aware of specific threats made to shoot up that bus stop. In an official complaint, they're accusing JCPS of negligence and recklessness and it's quote disregard for the safety of JCPS children at the bus stop and quote Daniel telling us JCPS's lack of action played a factor in Tyree's death. They should have known that there was going to be violence there. The attorneys claim through open records they discovered past issues at the cross section. There was a fight that broke out from students of 2080. They suspended one student um, who we believe was the target of the shooting on September 22nd and September 22nd was the day that that particular student who we believe is the target of the shooting was coming back to school. Problems they claim Superintendent Dr. Marty Polio and his administration knowingly allowed to fester. Both the family and their lawyers have doubled down saying Tyree was not the intended target, further pushing their message that the shooting could have been avoided. I have not seen one hint that he was the target. He was a good kid, worked really hard. He was the ideal of a kid that you want. The two 16 year olds, also JCPS students charged in connection to Tyree's death are being prosecuted as adults. Arrested by LMPD last December, they're both due back in court this October. Following our request for a response, JCPS said they don't comment on pending litigation. And Tyree would have been a senior this school year at Eastern High. Meanwhile, attorneys say JCPS has about three weeks to file an official response to that suit. In Louisville, Isaiah Kim Martinez, WHAS 11 on your side.